Wrestling YouTube Buddies. I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And welcome back to another installment in my Celebrating Disney series where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney, animated or live action under the main Disney banner. And this week I'm doing another animated review, the long-awaited sequel to the animated cult classic The Brave Little Toaster with the first sequel in the Brave Little Toaster trilogy come to find out. The Brave Little Toaster to the Rescue. The Brave Little Toaster to the Rescue was released in 1997. This was a movie that was released 10 years after the release of the original Brave Little Toaster. The Brave Little Toaster had become a cult classic by this point. And I guess they decided to make sequels finally because that was be starting to become a trend by Disney is make these low budget cash grab sequels with lower animation budgets and stuff like that. And the Brave Little Toaster fell on that bandwagon as well. I have not heard many good things about the Brave Little Toaster sequels. A lot of fans love the original Brave Little Toaster, but with the two sequels, they're considered of lesser quality. Now, I was not a big fan of the Brave Little Toaster. I thought it was uh, an okay movie. There's some fun aspects to be had with the movie, but it wasn't anything that blew me away either. I didn't have any nostalgia for it or anything. So with all that said, what did I think of the Brave Little Toaster to the rescue? Let's find out together. This heartfelt and humorous full-length feature reunites Toaster, Blanky, Lampy, Radio, and Kirby the Vacuum Cleaner, the beloved household gadgets of college student Rob. When Toaster and the gang spark friendships with the playful animals at the veterinary hospital, they soon discover their new pals are about to be sent to a testing laboratory. Through teamwork and combined voltage, they embark on a hilarious rescue to save all the animals, including Sebastian, a wise monkey, and Maisie, the mother cat, with kittens. So like I said, not a crazy big fan of the original Brave Little Toaster. I reviewed it earlier in my Celebrating Disney series. It's a fine movie. It's one that has some good moments in it, but it's not really anything that blew me away either. But it did surprise me for a movie that I initially thought was aimed for like under five kids, preschoolers. The Brave Little Toast of the Rescue, on the other hand, with everything I feared the first Brave Little Toaster was going to be, it's clearly a movie aimed at preschoolers. Like, they're not even hiding around the bushes on this one. Like, the story is nowhere as interesting as the first movie. There's a couple of weird aspects that made the first movie have a little bit of a charm to it, but most of this is just pandering to young kids, honestly. The story's just not as intriguing, where everybody's hanging out at the vet, and they're trying to save all the animals from being illegally stolen and sent to testing labs. Like, even the villain in this movie is just like this generic, disposable mustache twirly villain guy where you know it's going to be the bad guy when you first see the character. Those type of characters tend to annoy me. The songs in here are so forgettable. Like, there's no song in this movie that's going to stand out, you know, the more I think about this movie. Because the songs are not really that good. They're very pandering to younger kids. Feel like a lot of songs you'd hear in a lot of direct-to-video sequels. The animation is definitely a downgrade. It feels like I'm watching like a Saturday morning cartoon almost, which in Disney standards, that's not that good. Not even the first movie had like great animation because it was a direct-to-video film also. But the first movie, you can tell there was care put into it. There was passion put in it. One of the screenwriters of that was Joe Raft, and he later went to work with Pixar. Now, Joe Raft wasn't a part of the sequels because he was at Pixar at this point so yeah clearly not as much care put into the second movie compared to the first movie and it does show I don't really find the characters that interesting here uh, I still really like the radio like the radio was probably my favorite character in the first movie because I enjoyed how wisecracking he was and there's a couple jokes with the radio that I thought were fun but 
Other than that, I didn't really find the film that funny. I didn't really find the film that entertaining or heartwarming, like the movie. Even though it's only like 75 minutes long, it feels like the movie drags because there's not a real story in this. It just seems like, hey, let's hang out at the vet to have a last minute threat in this movie and have like wild slapstick shenanigans that only two year olds would laugh at. And this movie's not for me. It, it's not for me. The first movie wasn't really for me either, but I appreciate the first Brave Little Toaster now because <laughs> At least there's charm into that movie, and there's some very weird aspects in it, like that junkyard scene. Here, the only weird aspect that the movie has, there's a lot of humor revolving around, like, computers and new age technology, well, at least at the time, because this came out in the 90s. There's this trippy musical number with, like, female computers, and... For some reason, their their discs with the CD-ROMs or whatever, because this was 90s, look almost like female anatomy, and I just thought that was really weird, and that kind of creeped me out, honestly, but what hurts that scene for me is how disposable the song is. If it was a song that was catchy and memorable, like Worthless from the first movie, it'd be a fun scene, but... No, you have this very boring song that feels like it's pandering to the lowest common denominator and it doesn't make the scene that entertaining. It just makes it more awkward, cringy, and forgettable. And it's a movie that I'm going to forget about in a couple days, honestly. I'm surprised I'm even talking about this movie, honestly, because there's not really much to this movie. Now, I like that it does continue the story of the first with like the the appliances, you know, hanging out with their master, now being a college student, and kind of that dynamic, which was more mysterious in the first movie. I did enjoy that, I guess, and it's kind of cool seeing that continue, but the execution wasn't really there. Like, the rescue mission, I just felt like was half-baked. Uh, the new characters, I don't really find that memorable. And it's a movie that I just don't really think is that special a movie like it's a very forgettable film it's a movie I only recommend honestly for younger kids like it's a movie that I don't particularly care for with the boring songs forgettable characters and some a lot of the unfunny humor it's definitely one made for younger younger kids and it definitely feels like one of those like cheap cash cow movies that was clearly made just to capitalize off the success of the original Brave Little Toaster. So this isn't a movie that I'm going to recommend, but if you have younger kids and you want to see maybe a less trippy version of the first movie, I guess watch the Brave Little Toaster to the rescue on Disney+. Plus. Weirdly, the first movie is not on Disney+, Plus, but the two sequels are, so I don't know what Disney's logic is in that because the first Brave Little Toaster is clearly the better film, but hey, if you have younger kids and they like the first movie, then yeah, you can watch the other ones on Disney+, Plus, I guess. So what am I going to rate the Brave Little Toaster to the rescue? Well... I'm going to give The Brave Little Toaster two, a 2 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 34 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of The Brave Little Toaster to the Rescue as part of my Celebrating Disney series, where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney, regardless of quality, animated or live action under the main Disney banner. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're a big Disney fan like me, I'll leave a link in the description below for a playlist where you can, you can catch up on all the reviews I've done on Celebrating Disney so far, whether it's my animated reviews or live action reviews. If you're a big fan of Disney, click the link in the description below where you can catch up and see more. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be notified of future Celebrating Disney reviews. If you're new to this series, each week I alternate between animated and live action reviews. My animated reviews are done in chronological order from their theatrical animated classics to the directed video sequels along with Pixar. My live action reviews are more freestyle and are prone to request. If there's a live action Disney film or franchise you'd like me to tackle in the near future, don't forget to leave your requests down in the comments below. I definitely keep those under consideration. So. 
be on the lookout for more opportunities, whether requests in the comments below or polls on Twitter where you can help pick some future live action celebrating Disney reviews. Be on the lookout for opportunities like that in the near future. Join me next week on Celebrating Disney. Uh, I'll be diving into another live action review. Uh, the remake of Peace Dragon uh, will be on hold a little bit because with Christmas coming up, I decided to finish my reviews of the Santa Claus trilogy. Last year, I did a review of the original Santa Claus. So this year, on Celebrating Disney in December, I'll be reviewing the two Santa Claus sequels. So next week, I'll be tackling the Santa Claus 2. So be on the lookout for that review coming next week. But if you've seen the Brave Little Toaster to the rescue, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!